same uh, when you're drawing with this. So we'll see how hard it is, what are the difficulties, what are the things that you have to learn to hold it, okay, while we are doing the practice with lineup. So before that, we are going to start with a small practice for the wrist. And then what we are going to do is, we are going to see everything. Uh, starting from dots, lines, curves, and basic shapes. Again, why do we need this? I'll tell the reason and we'll quickly start. See, when you are doing something uh, on paper, when you get a hold of uh, doing that on the paper properly, you can practice with a liner easily. When you are not able to draw a straight line, when you're not able to draw a curve like a curve or a square like a square, then it's going to be difficult on the glass. Because glass is not like paper, right? It's a completely different medium. So we are going to practice everything on paper and no scales, no compass, uh, no geometric tools allowed. We are going to do everything with freehand because whatever you do on glass is going to be completely freehand. Unlike if you know about mandala art or dot painting, we do all the measurement. It is so calculative. Okay. But we are not going to do any calculations with glass painting. All the more we have design that we have already drawn by hand. And if it's a if it's a complicated thing that you want to do on glass, we are going to trace the design and then we are going to do the outline part. So it's completely going to be freehand. Again, tracing also is not an easy job, right? You have to trace whatever is drawn with the pencil. That will be the challenge that we are going to face with glass painting, okay? Now to uh, break that and start practicing is what we are going to start with the first step, okay? So if you people are ready, shall we start? I'm done with the talking. From now on till the end of the class, we are only going to be doing. So yes, how many of you are excited for me to start it? Uh, okay, oh, I have a curious participant already. Aarti, how are glass paint different from acrylic paint? It's very simple. The basic glass color that we are doing is water soluble. Acrylic is not water soluble, it's alcohol soluble. So you pour water on your acrylic uh, paint or I'm a jewelry designer also. So when I just pour water accidentally on my jewelry, acrylic paint does not go away. That is not the case with glass painting. Your glass paint will peel off because it's water soluble. Okay. Right. Only Himadri is excited. What about the other people in class? Should we not start doing? Should we just keep talking, interacting? Okay, I think now we are just going to be interacting. Okay, Madhu, what about the others? I need to see. Guys, you should start spamming the uh, chat box. I need to have a lot of interaction. That is when the class is going to be interesting. You can ask me questions. You can interact with me in the chat box. You can interact with each other. I really want my class to be like that. Okay. The more you make me talk, the more you talk with me, the more we are going to learn. Okay. Right. Now, this is the energy I was looking for. We'll quickly flip my camera, focus it on my notebook. Yeah. And we will start working. Okay. I want you all to be ready with your paper, pencil, and eraser if you want. I am not going to use a pencil because it won't be visible. I'll be using a pen. And I would really appreciate if you people would come on the camera. You can take it as a request from my side. So the first work that I'm going to give you is, how many of you know what an infinity is? So this is an infinity, right? So we are not going to do a small infinity. We are going to do a big infinity and keep doing it continuously. This is the first exercise. I want you to keep doing this continuously at least for 30 seconds to one minute. And it is really appreciable if you can turn on your cameras. I can see only one person on the camera and that is also my moderator, not my students. So yes. Guys, don't you? Okay, I don't have a problem if you don't want me to see the work and uh, tell you corrections. Then you people can just stay off the camera. But I want you to start doing this. Thank you, Arshita. Right. You can do this and let me know. So we will start with the first topic, lines. Okay. After lines, we are going to see curves. And after curves, we are going to see all the basic shapes. Yeah, Arshita, you can start doing the infinity. 
quickly for 30 seconds to one minute. I want you people to practice this. I'll tell you why we are doing this. See, uh, this is not needed just for glass painting or this is not needed just for today's class. You want to write something, you want to draw something, be it any art form, craft form or writing uh, practice or part, you can try this one because it's a good exercise for your wrist and this will give you a flow. You, uh, you'll understand why I'm talking about flow and why this is important. Because when I'm telling you draw an infinity, you should not do one infinity, stop and do the next one, okay? I want you people to continuously do it. Continuously doing is not taking off your hand or not moving your pen out again, see? You can see my pen is striking the paper continuously. Only my wrist is doing the movement. And I'm not taking my hand off like this. This is important. Drawing infinity is not important. Drawing infinity continuously is important because there is a difference between when I write my name like this. You saw that I wrote it continuously. I can also write my name like this, which is looking more organized. This also is a good handwriting. This again is a good handwriting. But I want you people to practice this because you will be requiring this continuous pattern following you everywhere. See, when I'm talking about lines, when I need a straight line, I need to draw a straight line. You saw that's a decent straight line without a ruler. But I can't do it like this. I can't go stop half the way. We all have this habit right from school. We can't draw or we can't uh, do anything without the ruler. And we were made to practice like that. If you draw a line or if you underline with freehand and go, mm, we probably will have to redo that work. That is how we were trained. But for glass painting, you have to do it completely with your freehand, be it a shape, anything. So I'm trying to draw a straight line like this. People who have completed the infinity, We'll start practicing straight lines, okay? Try to draw parallel lines like this so that you will know if your line is straight. You don't have to show or you don't have to draw and practice a perfect straight line. Your line has to just look straight. <coughs> Excuse me. Your line has to just look straight, that's all. You don't have to give me the perfect straight line in... Uh, 90 degree or 180 degree. No, I don't want a line like that. You, it just has to look decently straight. Okay. And you have to practice 10 lines, at least 10 lines like this. The second one that you should practice is the same straight line with hyphens. Make sure it doesn't go any anywhere like crooked. Try to draw it very slowly. Doing it with a pen seems so much easier than doing it with a liner because you will have a lot of pressure issues, pressure control issues with when you're using the liner, okay? So do it very slowly with the pen. Try to draw the hyphens in even size. Try to even maintain this gap. Can you see this gap? Try to even give that gap uh, in the same way. So, so you get used to it. So this is the second practice that you will do. What is the third one? Third one is going to be dots. Okay, third one is dots. I need to make line with dots. You know what a dotted line is, right? We have the different kinds of lines. So it's a dotted line. See, when we are having problem with a dotted line, what we can do is draw a straight line like this with the gaps in between and then try to draw a dotted line here in between two straight lines so that your dotted line will come out straight. See, we are not directly going to use this dotted line anywhere in glass painting, but you will need dots. You will need hyphen somewhere. All these things we are going to practice in paper and then we are going to practice it on the sheet, glass sheet for one major purpose. That is how you are going to handle your 
liner how we are going to handle the pressure uh, to understand about a glass liner more easily see uh does this look similar when i hold it like this does it look similar to anything else so this is the knob this is a knob is it looking similar to something else that we do let me see if anyone is guessing the answer is it looking similar to something else some other art form we'll see if someone gets the answer right or i'm going to tell people you can try even if it's going to be wrong okay ritu she got it right in the first go mehndi kon yeah i also do mehndi so some people hold the mehndi like this i hold my mehndi even like a pen because uh, i i draw wherever i get space i draw i draw even on my jewelry so everything is like different different canvas for me so i hold everything with a dry grip so she was right mehndi is very similar to the liner so when i am using a liner it's going to be like applying mehndi for applying mehndi you if you would have applied or if someone would have applied for you you would have seen that they press it like this why they need to give a pressure only when they give a pressure the thing that is inside that is mehndi is going to come out and they are going to create designs through the tiny nozzle so here also we have a tiny tip it, it's a small nozzle and we are going to be creating outlines with this okay so the same thing we'll be having here the same challenge i'll not call it a problem it's a challenge we need to practice to get it perfect so you need to keep on pressing this paint inside the outliner paint inside with the even pressure that is the trick you have to learn that is the big learning that you'll have to do that is what you'll be practicing this should be very even so that your line comes out like this or this otherwise what will happen one side will be very bulged and the other side will be very thin or what will be there you will have uneven dots if you are not giving a proper pressure so we will see all this quickly so before that i want you to practice all these three if someone has done you can just show me you can just turn on your camera and you can just show me all the three basic lines if you have done turn on the camera please do give me a hand raise so i'll be able to spotlight you yeah who wants to show me first nobody are you people doing it with me okay archita showed me something i didn't see what about the others are you guys doing it with me can i have answers in chat box so that i'll know that you are doing and i have to move on to the next one no answers guys if you are drawing you can tell me and then draw so that we will continue with the next one curves once you are done with the lines can i have an update okay oh, has done how many of uh, you people have done who are still practicing can you please quickly let me know in the chat box done okay cool what about the others shall we start shall we start the next one because no one seems to be showing me so i think we'll move on to the next one uh himadri yes sure you can just show me your this is pretty cool yeah your lines are actually looking straight and one thing i would want to tell you is instead of practicing a small infinity you can practice a half page or a full page infinity that's going to help more other than that your uh, lines are looking really cool uh, this keep this practice so that you will be able to draw with the liner as well okay uh, yeah himadri showed me if anyone wants to show me you can show me or we'll move on to the 
curves, and then we have shapes. Okay, I think we will, yeah, I think we'll move on to the curves. So we know that we have Archita showing me. Yes, Archita, I'm able to see yours. Your infinity is looking good. When you keep practicing, what will happen is when you keep practicing, you'll be able to get it uh, evenly. Instead of your curves coming out or your curves going out, you'll start getting it evenly. And uh, your lines as well. Yeah, Ritu, I'm able to see yours. Your straight lines are uh, not parallel to each other, but you'll get that with practice. Hyphens and dots are fine. Your infinity is fine. Straight line alone, start practicing by giving even space like this, okay? Other than that, your work is cool. Okay. Okay, I guess we will start with the, the curves. We know we have two types of curves, right? Convex curve and the concave curve. You can do this this way also. So why do you need to practice this? Why should you practice this? See, now I have a leaf here. Wherever you see it has a curved, it either has a curved line or a straight line. A big curve, a straight line. Uh, all these you see here are curves. So you need to start with small curves. Just make sure that your curve starts at one point and ends at another point. It should not stop anywhere in between. This is a rule that's applicable for everything from now on. Starting point, ending point. Starting point, ending point. Practice all the different types of curves. Just have a starting point and ending point. Starting point, ending point. Starting point, ending point. Start practicing this. And these two are very important for shapes. See, once you are done with this, we'll see the shapes and I'll tell, I want not this, these many times, I want you to draw these at least 10, 10 times, all the four. So we'll be able to easily do the shapes. And once you are done, you will let me know, we will move on to all the geometric shapes. And guys, you have any doubts, you can let me know. Guys, are you done? Okay, Himadri is done and Ritu is done. What about the others? Yes. So we'll see the shapes now. Excellent. So I want you to be a little interactive because I'm not able to see your faces. I should at least know if you are drawing or not. So we'll have a little more interaction in the chat box. Being that said, the first shape that I'm going to show you people is a square. What I did last, you should not do that. You should not join anything anywhere. So let's do the square one more time. First line, second line, third line, and fourth line. Without a scale. All the shapes should be drawn without a scale. That is why we are practicing straight line. All the geometric shapes has straight lines. 
rectangle, triangle, diamond, hexagon. Draw anything you want. It should just look decently straight. It should not look um, not symmetrical. You should draw the lines in a way that it should look symmetrical. And um, last but not the least, a semicircle and a circle. How do you do? It's just a combination of a straight line and a curve. Draw a straight line, draw a curve, semicircle. What are you going to do about a circle? Draw two curves which basically is drawing a C and an inverted C. That's a perfect circle. Draw a C and an inverted C. Because in, with the liner, you can't do this circle or you can't do a circle like this. No, you will not have the privilege to draw like you draw with a pen. You anyway have to draw it by taking your hand off once. So you can try this technique to get a proper circle okay or you will have to if we have the trace you will have to start at one point slowly keep moving join the other side with one go sometimes you may not be able to get get the circle properly okay i'll tell you why the line may split at a point i'll show you how that happens now i want you people to practice all these shapes all together practice once you people are done with the practice we will start doing all these things on a glass sheet and we'll see what is the challenge that we are facing. Shika, done so soon, can I see? People who are done, can you show me your work? Shika, are you on the camera? Are you? Guys, this is so bad, guys. I'm going to turn off my camera. Guys, okay, please give a response. Time. You all are sitting here. Please give response. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Himadri, good. It really looks good. Even your circle is looking good. Okay, now I see people. Ritu. Yes, Ritu. Ritu, it's looking good, Ritu. So many circles, you're practicing circles. Huh? Uh, your semicircle, try to draw it with a little more bigger curve. This is good. It looks like a small moon. Try to draw it with a bigger curve. More deep curve. More deeper, more deeper. Yeah. Who else? What about the others? Why do you guys immediately go off camera? I'm also going to turn off my camera once I'm done drawing. Don't see, don't copy me. Okay, if you people are done, can I have some response in the chat box? If you people are done, then I'm going to take a glass sheet. I'm going to actually show you how to do all the same things with the liner. But I really need some response in the chat box. After that is when I'm going to do that. Okay, Ritu is done. Chandrika, Shri Devi. That's all. This time I need a lot of more responses so that we'll start. Yeah, who has done after Shri Devi? Hamadri. I keep seeing repeated names. What about the others? Guys, it's completely fine if you don't come on the camera yeah you people are not going to do it but still you can be interactive in the chat box okay varsha madhuri right so you have done with the basic shapes now what we are going to do is so this is the glass sheet that we'll be using today it's a transparent sheet. It's otherwise called a glass sheet. What we are going to do is we are going to practice 
we are going to practice all the things that we saw on paper on this sheet okay so the first one is going to be a straight line Yeah, we'll start now. So the first one is a straight line. As I was telling you, you don't take off your hand anywhere in between. However long the line is, you have to just drag your line. Let's try making a longer line. and stop wherever you want to stop. Okay, so the most important thing is the pressure. How I am holding the liner and how I am applying pressure. Okay, you don't stop anywhere in between. If you stop, it's not going to look good. Can you see my lines in close up now? And when your pressure application is not proper, this happens. You get hyphened or dotted lines. You don't want that. You want your, um, <coughs> excuse me, you want your outline to be continuous. You don't want your outline to be interrupted like this. So what is the next thing that we saw dots? Even for your dots, you should be completely having a control over your liner's pressure. Now I'm able to make so small dots because I'm not giving much pressure. I'm just touching with whatever liner is available. What if I want to make actually big dots? Then I'll have to give a little pressure and make sure I'm giving the same amount of pressure Every time I make that dot. Okay. So the same thing applies with the hyphen. Holding your liner and how much pressure you're going to apply is what is important that's what we should be learning okay are you people clear with how to draw a straight line is this clear right so now we'll see the shapes okay we'll start with the small square Okay, that's how it is done. And if I want a rectangle, draw a longer line. It's a rectangle. And if I want a triangle, Okay, and what if I want a circle? As I was telling you, we'll draw a half C and complete the rest. It's actually looking like a circle. We'll do it one more time. Draw a C. And then inverted C. That will look like a circle. What are the other shapes that we saw? Not just these shapes. 
any shapes all you have to do is have an even pressure here you can hold it here you can hold it here or here wherever you are comfortable with you know that when you practice whichever hold is comfortable for you you have to go ahead with that now how do you draw a semicircle these curves are actually important because that's what is going to give you the flow your paint should flow like this your paint has to actually flow like this that is when you will be able to do your free hand thing so whatever free hand thing i want to do so it's going to be a leaf i need to flow with the liner you see i have to just the line just let the liner flow i should not stop the mo movement anywhere i should not stop anywhere in between if i stop anywhere then it's not going to give me a good look see drawing the same leaf drawing the vein in the center say i'm stopping here and i'm starting again you can see that the place that you stopped is clearly visible you don't want that so what are we going to do instead start end so this is a continuous curve this is what we want throughout the painting we don't want anywhere to be the uh, in, we don't want the flow to be interrupted anywhere and look like this no we don't want it to look like this drawing anything continuous is going to be like that and only when you draw it continuously is it going to look good are you understanding a bit about the liner the hold of the liner and the pressure of the liner yeah now do you want uh, me to show you something do you want me to show you something any shape that you have doubt in guys i want the chat box to be active now if there is any uh, doubt anything that i want to show you okay ritu wants to see a flower we'll do a flower see the petal that you can mostly use for a flower is three types of uh, basically two or three types of petals one is going to be this one the next can be this one or the one that we use for sunflower this one the other is going to be the round one so basically these are the shapes other than that you can go for something like this you can go for something like this or something like this the shape can you can make variations but these are the basic shapes so first you draw in a circle small one time to time you have to clean your tip otherwise it's going to mess up your glass and if i'm going to make flower like this i will do it slowly and steadily if i do it fast i will not get the paint out properly it something like this will happen but i am not doing it slowly because we don't have time i'm doing it a little quickly you can take your own time to complete all these petals and one more thing is it we don't have to stumble like this when we are doing it on the glass because we'll be having the outline okay so now that is one flower um names and lettering okay that requires a different level of practice because you won't be able to do names and
because you won't be able to do names unless or until you have a proper hold of the pressure and i would not prefer doing it in cursive because i'll show you why can you see it has doubled up we don't want this to happen so instead you should basically go for the split letter or the capital letter i can write the same name in capital that's going to look good because we are not going through the same curve again when you go through the same curve again is when it is splitting which we always do with cursive writing right you can practice calligraphy with an outline that's completely possible i have done it so when you do it with the capital letter you won't have that problem of cutting the same curve and when i want to do it in small letter i have to just go like this something like this then it would not cross the same curve okay double line letters are done the same way you do with paper that's all the same thing when you do it in a slow manner when you do when you take the time to do it you're going to get it beautifully don't do it in a hurry bari yeah any other doubts